ladies and gentlemen, there is only one way to unseat President William Samuel Ruto or to make William Samuel Ruto to be a one-term president. And that only one way is by having this ticket of Stephen Kalonzo Msioka and Fred Okengo Matiangi. And then Raila Amolo Odinga endorsing that ticket. So if we are going to have that ticket being endorsed by Raila Amolo Odinga, then that is the only one sure way of sending William Samuel Ruto and Rigathi Gashawa to Sogoi directly. That is actually what we are going to have as our conversation. But before we dive in to that candid conversation, I could request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always make sure to smash the bell button. That is the only way that YouTube can send notification to you so that you can watch any political content that we upload into YouTube. And for those ones who have actually subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. And now let us go back to the topic of the day. And the topic of the day is about this one sure way of sending William Samuel Ruto and Rigathi Gashawa back home or making them to be one term president. And that one sure way is actually the way I've said we have a ticket of Stephen Kalonso Sioka and Fred Okengo Matiangi. And by saying that, Stephen Kalonso Sioka will be the candidate for presidency and Fred Okengo Matiangi being the candidate to be the deputy president of this republic. And then on top of that, having Raila Amolo Odinga to press that ticket. And if that will happen, for sure, that team will send William Samuel Ruto back to Sogoi because that ticket is quite superior compared to the ticket of William Samuel Ruto and Rigathi Gashawa. Why am I saying all this? I am saying all this because Fred Okengo Matiangi is actually a performer, a man who fear none, a man who can campaign, who can convince people of Stephen Kalonso Msioka. So this is the man that Stephen Kalonso Msioka needs to have as 
is candidate to be his deputy. And as you know, Fredo Kengo Matiani has handled various capacity in this republic. He has been the Minister of Education or the Cabinet Secretary of Education. And what he did is quite marvelous during our tenure in the sector of education. He has also been the Minister of Interior and Coordination of National Government during the time of Uhuru era. And actually what he did is quite marvelous. He performed very well. And that's why Fred Okengo Matiangi should be the deputy of Stephen Kalonso Msioka. At the same, same time, the record for Okengo Matiangi is quite known to many Kenyans. And many Kenyans actually like this man who we call Fred Okengo Matiangi. And that means that if we are going to have that ticket of Stephen Kalonso Msioka and Fred Okengo Matiangi, then that ticket is going to send William Samuel Ruto directly to Sogoi because that ticket is going to get 100% of votes from Nyanza region. And by saying Nyanza region, I mean Gusi Nyanza and Luo Nyanza. Then the eastern part of the country, it is going to get 100%. That means the Kamba Nation and Meru struck the Embu people are going to fought for Stephen Kalonso Msioka. And then the coastal province will be behind Kalonso Msioka, Fred Okengo Matiangi ticket. And from there, the Western Bloc is going to fought for Kalonso Msioka and Fred Okengo Matiangi. And because of the factor of Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta also coming in to place that ticket, it means that Fred Okengo Matiangi and Stephen Kalonso Msioka could also get a lot of votes from Central Kenya. That means from the Murima in general. Because the factor of Raila Amolo Odinga on the ballot will not be there. Let come 2027. And because of the consolidation of the forts in the entire Nyanza region, that means it could deny William Samuel Ruto not to have 25% from any region from Nyanza. And that actually will deprecate itself from the coastal province. It will deprecate itself from the eastern province. And then, Stephen Kalonso Musioka, Musioka plus Okengo Matiani will sweep the entire western region. And because of that, it means that that region will actually fought for Stephen Kalonso Msioka and Fred Okengo Matiangi ticket. So that ticket of Fred Okengo Matiangi and Stephen Kalonso Msioka 
is the only sure way that will unseat President William Samuel Ruto. We don't have any ticket because if you remove the factor of Okengo Matiangi, it means now you have opened a window for William Samuel Ruto to get a lot of votes from Gusi region. And that means Nyanza region will divide. But by consolidating the all of Nyanza, it means now uh, William Samuel Ruto will not reach in any county 25%. And at the same, same time, because of that ticket of Kalonzo Msioka and Fred of Kengo Matiangi, that ticket in the central region, I think it's likable. Because of Okengo Matiangi, the people of central province actually can vote in for that ticket. At the same, same time, you will find also Stephen Kalonzo Msioka is also a person who will actually venture to the central region and they will come out with a good percentage of votes. So if we combine that percentage, which will be swayed by Musioka and Fred Okengo Matiani from the central region, it means now it will be very easy to send or to unseat President William Samuel Ruto home. So that is the only sure ticket that we will have from the side of opposition to send William Samuel Ruto home. So the side of opposition should not do any mistake by not adhering to that ticket because that is the only sure ticket. I have told you that is the only sure ticket to send William Samuel Ruto. And I have explained very well because of the Okengo Matiang, a man who can convince people why they should vote for that ticket, a man who is liked by many tribes in this republic because that man is a performer. That man is fearless. So that ticket, I feel, is the only ticket that will send William Samuel Ruto back to Sogoi at 7 in the morning. I really don't know what's your take about all that. Do you believe that Stephen Kalonso Msioka, Fred Okengo Matiani ticket will send President William Samuel Ruto to Sogoi very early in the morning? Please drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel because this is the only YouTube channel where we address everything about politics without fear and favor. And also, please give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those ones who have subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you abundantly because you always give us the inspiration to continue coming up with this kind of political analysis. And lastly, whenever you subscribe to our YouTube channel, always smash the bell button. Because by smashing the bell button, you give YouTube a leeway to send you notifications whenever we come up with any political content and we are brought it into YouTube. And with that, I say thank you until we meet in our next political conversation. Goodbye.